It's Patrick from Half Wheel, and this is the ST DuPont Defy Extreme Lighter. And that's extreme with two X's, as this is the dual flame follow-up to the original Defy Extreme. This came out in March. Still starting to arrive at stores, so you might not have seen it yet, your local retailer. But let's uh, give you the quick rundown. So this is a dual flame, as you can see up there, two jet torches. It's a pocket lighter, just under three inches uh, tall and about two inches wide and less than an inch thick. So very pocket friendly, very travel humidor friendly. In addition to the obvious features, the big fuel tank over here and the big visible fuel tank, which is very nice. And you have your side squeeze ignition and your flame adjustment wheel on the bottom, as well as the fuel valve, which we'll talk a little bit more about. This is really being marketed as a lighter from ST DuPont that can work in extreme conditions. And what does that mean? Well, they say it'll light from 14 degrees out in the temperature, so below freezing, all the way up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, so as in a hot, hot Phoenix summer day. It will work at elevations up to about 11,500 feet, give or take, and it'll also supposedly work in winds of 32 to 38 miles per hour. Now, as I mentioned in the review, what's interesting is I don't know if I'd necessarily be out smoking a cigar in any of those conditions or at any of those elevations, but... It is nice to see, and we've seen a little bit more of a move from some companies into that more durable, uh, some might call it tactical realm, as uh, Zycar has done, but really trying to create lighters that are a little bit more durable than your average everyday pocket lighter. So again, dual flame, and let's take a look at that ignition real quick. And this is actually going to bring up an interesting point. And you can hear I have to have two clicks to get the ignition firing. Now, I had the lighter working on a little bit earlier, but had let it sit. And that is one of my big complaints about that. But we'll talk about that in just a second. So again, dual flame lighter. Torches are angled to give you a nice, sharp flame. As far as a lighter perspective, it actually works quite well. It gives you just a little more firepower to get to your bigger cigars, but not so much that you have to run the risk of scorching your smaller cigars, like your Lanceros or your Coronas. So, makes quick work of lighting pretty much any cigar. Once it's burning, this is a fantastic lighter and one that I was very, very happy with. So let's turn the lights back on here. Now, as you heard, I had to give it two clicks, and that's one of my biggest issues with the ST DuPont Defy Extreme, is that when the lighter has been sitting, even if you give it a slow push of the ignition, it still takes a second click to get it firing. I'm not exactly sure what the internals of the lighter are and how the butane gets up to the jets, but there is something in there that is not conducive to first ignition or first light success when the lighter's been sitting. Now, if you've been using it a bit, it will generally light very quickly. Not much of a problem whatsoever. As you can see, good solid ignition right there. But that first light can be a little bit of a problem. Which brings me to my second little gripe with this lighter is the flame adjustment knob down here on the bottom. Now, as you can see, I mean, that's half the wheel right there in terms of what it says it can do. But when you actually turn it, that's as far as it goes right there. That's about a 90 degree turn. So you really don't have quite as much room to adjust the flame. And again, because of the butane issue and some other issues, I've had to have this pretty much all the way wide open every time I've used this. And what I'll show you really quickly is that if we get this burning, I'm going to start turning this down. And you should be able to see the flame just start to flicker, sputter, and out. Okay? That's how much I had to turn it to go all the way out. And again, that's sputtering. That's actually better than it's done most times at that. And again, even if I just turn it down just a tick more. Nope. And again, out. That's how much I had to turn it to get that result. Not a whole heck of a lot. So again, you really don't have that much range to customize your flame height. And that, to me, for a $400 lighter, which in case I forgot to mention, this is a $398 lighter, that to me is not a great selling point. Again, speaking of fuel, you do have to use the right kind of fuel. And so I point that out because ST DuPont does make two fuels. And as you can see, this red can here is the Defy Extreme, whereas the black can is for other DuPont lighters. And, you know, look, if you're buying a $400 lighter, the saying that you don't buy a Ferrari and then complain about the cost of gas kind of comes into play. But just to give you an idea of what this actually costs at retail, this can 
has a full MSRP of about $14 for 90 milliliters of fuel. Conversely, Zycar's HP fuel, which is kind of my standard, is $9.99 for 400 milliliters. So you're getting four times the fuel for about four bucks less. Now, you certainly can use other fuels in this lighter. I'm not saying you can't. ST DuPont probably would prefer that you use their fuel. Certainly understandable. But I will tell you that I, when I got this lighter in the mail, I accidentally used this fuel because I thought, oh, I have a can of DuPont fuel laying around somewhere. And put, filled it up, and sure enough, it would not light. It would give me a little quick spurt of a flame, and that was it. So you do have to be mindful of using the right kind of fuel. We've tried some other brands out. Uh, the results have been fairly decent. So again, I don't think you're necessarily locked into the DuPont fuel, but it is something that the company is going to remind you that you should be using this red can. So just be mindful of that. And again, it is not the cheapest stuff out there. So in terms of actual lighter usage, like I said, when this thing is on and burning, it's a phenomenal lighter. It's got just enough firepower. It's very comfortable in the hand. It feels good. Lots of texture. And this design is what's called a guilloche. And you see it in a lot of decorative uh, metalworking. You see it in, in the watch world. You see it in architecture. Uh, it's a really interesting design. It's, it's In this case, it's kind of a protective buffer for the body of the lighter. And again, this is available in either red body or black body. And the guilloche is black on either side. But again, that leads me to another little point, which is there's no lid on this. And again, $400 lighter, I don't want my torches or my jets getting clogged up with, with stuff or my keys getting down there and messing with the ignition. I'd like to have something up there. Again, just one of those things of like, why not? So again, when you're using it, great lighter, but I can't tell you how many times I've pulled this out and done this because the fuel either wasn't going properly or was sputtering a little bit. And had somebody, you know, offer to let me use their lighter. And for a $400 lighter, that's just not kind of the impression I'd be looking to make. So again, this is the ST DuPont Defy Extreme, and that's extreme with two X's. Read more about it here on Half Wheel. Thanks so much for checking it out, and read more about all things cigars right here on halfwheel.com.